Tell me about how are things looking on the political landscape here in North Carolina from your perspective? It's exciting. I, there's a groundswell of optimism here in North Carolina, and it is rooted in the fact that it is our time for change. And I think Barack Obama has really made a difference in this race. We have hundreds of thousands, over 400,000 new people who have registered to vote in North Carolina, unprecedented. Early voting started yesterday. The lines were so long. People are really excited about this race. You know, North Carolina really hadn't been in play from a presidential race since Jimmy Carter. So people are excited about that, and I, and I think that they're definitely going to be turning out to vote. Are you hoping that Barack Obama's coattails will help you significantly? I think um, I am. Um, some people say this race really is more about Elizabeth Dole than it is about Kay Hagan, that while you've been a state senator for 10 years, you're relatively unknown throughout the state. Is that a fair assessment? I think it was a fair assessment a while back, but we certainly have gotten a, a much better name recognition now. I think the key is Liddy Dole brought this on herself. She's been in office for one term, and she really hasn't done anything. I go across the state from Murphy to Manio, and people cannot tell me what she's done. And she is ranked the, at the bottom of the 93rd out of all 100 senators. And she votes with Bush 92% of the time, and that's not working for people in North Carolina. When she's voted against minimum wage, when she's voted to privatize Social Security, when she's voted against health care and benefits for our veterans, those are the issues that people in North Carolina want. What about Jesse Kratz, the uh, down east conservative Democrats who have, who si consistently supported Jesse Helms. Um, Elizabeth Dole will be counting on their support. Have you seen any movement among those voters? A lot. People are worried about the economy right now. People are worried so much about jobs. In many places in eastern North Carolina, we've lost so many jobs with textiles, furniture, tobacco. People, that's what they're worried about. They want a place for their children to be able to work and stay in rural eastern North Carolina. And that's what I've pledged to do when I go to Washington, to work as hard as possible to be sure that we have the economic package that helps North Carolina, and particularly from, from job growth. So are you saying Elizabeth Dole can't necessarily count on these conservative Democrats who have supported Jesse Helms? Not to the way it has been in the past. I mean, I've been talking to a lot of farmers that are full, fully on my, in, in my court. A lot of the other people in, in eastern North Carolina, because it's jobs, it's the fact that their wages have fallen, they're worried about their retirement, they're worried about the high cost of college education and the fact that really their incomes are not, have been depressed over these last eight years. And Liddy Dole has been part and parcel with George Bush 92% of the time on all of those economic issues. Elizabeth Dole has criticized you for not taking a position on the bailout until after it passed in Congress. Did you not want to stick your neck out? You know, I think that's absolutely ridiculous. First of all, that bill was changing all the time. I really wanted to study it, see what it was, what it was doing. And I mean, within a, an hour or so, I put out that I was against the bailout. We've got to do something for this credit crunch and this credit squeeze. I'm actually happier with what's happened right now with actually putting capital into the banking industry and letting the taxpayers get equity out. The whole purpose behind what I want to do is have the middle class families first, not the CEOs. We've got to be focused on what the government can do to help people stay in their homes and really help them with, with their jobs at this time.